Every year when I put up my holiday decorations, I go all out. So I need a lot of extension cords. I can't tell you how many times I've had everything laid out and then realized I needed a cord with three holes instead of two. Time to get an adapter. What a pain. Wouldn't it be nice if all extension cords could just adjust for use with both two and three pronged cords? Now that would save me time. Luckily, combo ports on Cisco business switches are already efficient in this way. What's a combo port? It's a type of port that can be used with two different types of connectors. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain combo ports and how they look on Cisco Business 350 series switches. Next. Some small form factor pluggable SFP interfaces are shared with an RJ45 and an SFP Plus port. The adjacent RJ45 port is not functional when the SFP is active. Similarly, when the RJ45 port is active, then the adjacent SFP port will not be functional. There are some key points to remember. Combo ports are used to connect with either a CopperCat 6A cable or an SFP fiber gigabit interface. On combo ports, flow control auto negotiation cannot be enabled and short reach mode is not applicable. So how does it look on a Cisco business switch? I'll show you. On this CBS 350 switch, I'll navigate to system summary under status and statistics and scroll down the system summary page. The switch port details can be seen at the bottom of the screen. Here on the right side of the switch front panel, you can see the XG1 ethernet port. Beside that is the XG1 SFP port. Similarly, the XG2 Ethernet or RJ45 interface is showing. Besides that, the XG2 SFP interface is visible. These XG1 and XG2 ports are known as combo ports on this switch. On this switch, the Ethernet XG1 and XG2 ports are active, so the adjacent SFP XG1 and XG2 ports will not function. More details about combo ports can be seen under the port management menu once I navigate to the port settings page. On the port settings page, you can see the port type for XG1 and XG2 are showing as a combo port. If I select the XG1 port and click on the edit button, the edit port settings page will be open. Here you can see that flow control settings are currently disabled for the XG1 port. If I try to apply auto negotiation flow control on the XG1 interface and click on the apply button, it will show an error. The explanation states that flow control auto negotiation is not supported on port TE1 0 1. Flow control enables connected ethernet ports to control traffic rates during congestion. This is done by allowing congested nodes to pause link operation at the other end. Next, I'll navigate to the green Ethernet section under the port management menu and select the port settings option. On this page, if I select switch port one and click on the edit button, you can see that the short reach configuration can be enabled or disabled for this port. If I select the combo port XG1, then the short reach configuration cannot be edited as this feature does not apply to combo ports. The short reach mode feature provides power savings on a short length of cable. After the cable length is analyzed, the power usage is adjusted for various cable lengths. That's it. Simple and efficient. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.